Okay, let's go see what this guy's got. You look like a water type trainer. Level 30? Uh... Oh, electric type. Pichu's really weak. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I could Sonic Boom my way out of this. Although Magnemite is kind of low. A Skitty? Level 29. Is that going to be an issue? I don't think so. Skitty is what? Normal type? Nineteen thousand or nineteen hundred twenty dollars. Tumbling grows to level twenty seven. That got a little bit close at the end, so I was kinda nervous. Don't know if you could tell. But I went kinda quiet. Uh so yeah. Well, she's under level ten. Oh yeah. Okay. I'm still gonna fight her because I want the money. Hundred and twelve dollars. Not bad. I have one timer ball? I should probably make more of those. Uh Am I still cooking chicken, really? Apparently. Evidently. Oh, it's almost done. Although... No, not really. Oh, you are a trainer. Oh, a Bagon. Okay, Twister. I dealt with that. $208. Not bad. Why do I carry a furnace on? Okay, actually, it's going to be nightfall soon, so let's go ahead and just sleep. Once we get back inside. I can only sleep at night. Come on, game. Come on. Okay, we should be able to now. There we go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Buddy was stomping all over my bed. Not very considerate of him. Okay, we got a gloom. Oh, it was way out of my... Uh, Comfort level. Some Zubats flying overhead that were a little underwhelming. So when do Gloom show up? Is it the evening? Is it... Do I see a green boss? No, I see a Heracross. That rhymed. Okay, cool. And there goes the Heracross. Okay. Is Heracross dual type bug fighting or is it just bug? If it's dual type bug fighting, Heracross would be a perfect opponent for Ace. I don't think that's the case though. I think it's bug something else. I don't think it's flying, although Heracross can fly. Oh, you can't fly on a Heracross, but... Psychic-type moves, right? That would be the biggest fear here. Ha! 
powders wouldn't be the worst thing in the world to deal with. Psychic type moves. Claws would be immune. Pyrrha could... They wouldn't be very effective against Pyrrha, and she would have the type advantage. If Ace could survive a hit, we'd know what we're dealing with. And if it's too scary, I could Whirlwind. Assuming I'm faster than it, which I'm probably not. If it opens with a bug type move, though, and I send claws out, I'm in a bad place. So, Bug and Psychic would make Pyrrha the best choice to send out first. <sighs> it's only level 35. Silverwind, so that's a problem. I've got great special defense on here. Dragon Rage is good. Okay, we got this. Whew. Wanna grew to level 36. 26. We got a moon ball and some heal powder. Okay, not the best things in the world, but I can live with it. Whew. I got really nervous over that. Thank God for Wanda and her special defense stat. What's another good special tank? I think Snorlax is a special tank, isn't he? He's a health and special? I think so. Okay, I'm really happy with how that turned out. Okay. Pyrrha got a little bit of experience there, so that's cool. Okay, we got some Oddish over here. Level 12 and 18. Uh, well, the 18 one's not bad. Yeah, not bad. I should probably sell that heal powder. Pretty sure heal powder decreases happiness. I don't really need it, I don't think. I can make potions, so... Yeah. As a matter of fact, that's something I should probably do. Make a whole bunch of potions. Oh, come on. I missed it. There we go. Okay. 248 experience. 49. Uh, not as much as I was hoping for. That's okay. That's okay. I don't think we're going to get to a Magneton by the end of this video, that's okay. Could fight a Lapras. Wouldn't be hard to fight a Lapras. Whoosh. Is she heading my way? Sort of. Level 30? Sure, I could take you. Or not. Okay, since when can you not throw a Pokeball and swim at the same time? Oh, man. Okay. That's not happening. Oh, 
Oh my god, enough with the confuse ray. My god, Pyrrha to level 29. Cool. Yeah, no metal sound, please. Oh my god, they give me Lapis and Snowballs? I guess because they're... Is Lapis Ice type? I thought Lapis was pure water. I could have swore there was only two Ice type in Gen 1. Dugong with dual type Water and Ice. And uh, Jinx with dual type Ice Psychic. I did not think that there were any other Ice types, but I could be wrong. Okay, that's a rock ghost type, right? Or is it ground ghost? I think it's a rock ghost. Either way, Twister should be fine. Although, rollout is terrifying. Yep, Whirlwind. Doesn't have any other Pokemon. Good to know. Um... Okay, my best bet is to use Mud Slap. Keep its accuracy down. It's definitely ground type because it's not super effective when I use Mud Slap. So it's a ground ghost type. There we go, mystery solved. Which means Ace was technically at the advantage there, but unfortunately it knew a rock type attack. Alright, unfortunately, Pyrrha is extremely squishy right now, which, you know, whatever, is a problem. Thank you for volunteering, Mr. Hopip. Alright, uh, leveled up, so now I can go ahead and enchant another sword, which I already know is going to have smite, unfortunately. That sucks. But oh well. Could be worse. Could be a lot worse. Whoop, whoop. Up we go. What level is this hop at? 14? Okay, whatever. And it stood perfectly still, so I was like, yeah, you know what? I can do this. Oh, Dragon Trainer. Level 30? Ooh. Twister is only going to get me so far. Thank you. Oh my god, migrating Starlies. Okay, heal up. Thing. I guess I can check Lapras's typing. I do have one. That's not what I wanted to put up here. That's what I wanted to put up here. So we already know this is going to be another smite sword, which sucks, but whatever. Smite 4. Okay, we're going to get another sword, and I'm going to find out what it's going to have on it. What level are you, Ekin? 17? Knockback. Could, could have looting. Okay. Could have looting, so cool. Uh, let's put this feather back here. How many eggs have you laid? Eight? Not bad. Sleep the night away here. Heal up uh, Ace a little bit more. Go to the store, sell that heal powder. Cool. Uh, I'm 
mean, no, I'm good with keeping the moon ball. Alright. Let's see. There's a Ledian. I think that's dual type bug fighting. Or is it bug flying as well? I can never remember. It's level 20, so it's worth a fight. Ooh, mech punch. Ace is level 30. Awesome. Mission accomplished. Uh, Kira up to level 32 is my next objective. And then probably getting Claws, Tumblina, and Wanda up to 30. Claws might be a little difficult. I really wish I could get a physical dark type. I have Thief. I have Thief at home. Let's go teach Claws, Thief. I know for a fact he can learn it. Uh, all of my Sneasels have that learned Thief. <laughs> First and foremost, priority number one. Okay, although we're actually at time, so let's end this with teaching a new guy, or a new move to, uh, well, our newest guy. Claws. No, no, no. Stop walking away from me. Thief. Uh, instead of home claws. Yeah. Yeah. I'm good with that. Moves. Thief is going to be better than... So stab is what? 50% bonus, so that's 20, so that brings that up to 60. Oh nice, your, <laughs> your inherent value is in speed, which is perfect because I love Sneasel as a, uh, as a speed cannon, as a speed attacker, speed sweeper, whatever you want to call it. Alright, but as I mentioned, we are currently at time for today, so that's going to have to do it for this episode. So thank you all for watching, I hope you've enjoyed all that fun stuff as always. If you did enjoy, please consider leaving a like or a comment, any and all feedback is always very, very much appreciated. It helps me out a ton, and I do always love hearing from you guys. And I'll see you all in the very next episode. Bye for now.